Hello, um, my name is Shama Jones, and I wanted to make this video to talk about, this is my dog, Oliver. <laughs> I wanted to make this video to talk about a place called Denver Cute. And what is Denver Cute, if you are, if you do not know? Well, Denver Cute is a hospitalization program. It's a hospital in Denver, Colorado. Uh, to treat malnutrition, specifically malnutrition from eating disorders. It is for those who are too medically unstable to go into residential treatment and who need to become medically stabilized in order to go to residential treatment. I have been to Denver Acute two times now, and before I went, I was really nervous, and I couldn't find much information online about what it's like to be a patient there. So I wanted to make this video to kind of tell you what it's like to be a patient there and hopefully quell any fears that you may have if you're afraid about going. Because you deserve treatment. I just wanna ease your mind. I want you to know that it's not a scary place and you'll, I'll, I'll get into it. I have a list of the things I wanna talk about. I filmed this video a couple times because I just want to make sure that I get it right. I really don't want, I really, I really want this to be helpful and useful for you. So pull up a chair and um, pour yourself a nice cup of tea and I'll tell you all about Denver Acute. So what is Denver Acute like? It's not like a residential eating disorder program if you've ever been to one. At a residential treating, eating disorder treatment program, there's lots of therapy all day you're moving around, you're interacting with other people. Um, this is not that. This is to get you ready to go there. Um, but, also sorry, you can hear my dog walking in the background. He is just, uh, he has long nails. Anyway, so this is to get you ready to go to a residential program. You're probably not gonna see many other people at Acute, and you're probably gonna spend most of your time alone in your room. Well, not alone, you'll be with a CNA at all times, a CNA or a BHT. So let me explain this to you. Let's just start with the first day. That's how I have it written. So on your first day, you're gonna be on something called a gate belt. They're gonna put a belt, they're just gonna give you a, a belt. And when I heard the term gate belt, when I was researching this, I was very scared and I didn't know what that meant. It is literally just like a belt that they give you and you just wear it and it's just like a belt and they like hold, if, if you're walking around, they, they hold you by the belt so that if you fall, they can catch you. And you're only on that for like a, as soon, as long as it takes the physical therapist to come by your room and clear you to go off of it. If you can get around fine before, they're not gonna have any problem with taking you off it almost immediately. And um, there's not many places to walk around anyway, so you're probably not gonna be held on to that much. And the <laughs> So there's a CNA in the room with you at all times, a certified nurse assistant or a BHT, a behavioral health technician. And these people at Denver Acute, they are the kindest people you can imagine. It is, it may sound kind of scary to always have someone in a room with you. <laughs> um, and you may be like, I want privacy, I wanna be alone. And I'm not the most like sociable person. I, I do like my alone time. And it's never, they're never like intrusive or rude. They're, they have a little corner of the room where they can do their own thing. They're just there to make sure you're safe and everything. But they just, if you want them to, they can go off and do their own thing. They have the computer and sometimes they do schoolwork on it. A lot of them are in college still. So a lot of them are doing schoolwork. Some of them like to draw. They just like to do whatever they like to do. Um, but if you do want to chat with someone, they're really, really nice. They're, they're, <laughs> Like the kindest, sweetest people I've ever met were the, the BHTs and CNAs there. And we had wonderful conversations. Um, they're just, they're really lovely. I haven't had a single negative experience. Every day, like the BHTs would switch out so it wouldn't be the same person all the time. I mean, of course, cause no one's gonna stay at work for like a month straight. <laughs> um, and they, sometimes they'd come back to your room and sometimes it would be just someone totally new. And every time it was like a fun, new surprise, who's it gonna be? But if you don't like surprises like that, you can also ask and you can request specific people. 
So it's really, they'll, they'll work with you to make sure you're 100% comfortable. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you're most comfortable with. If you like to chat, they like to chat, they like to play games. Sometimes we would even like sing together. I had my guitar and we would like sing songs together. So one time we like crafted together. Um, they'll, if they, if you want to hang out and just like have a good time, they're down for that. And if you, if you want to, and they're also, they're like trained psychologically. So if you ever feel like it's really overwhelming to be there and you're just like not having a good day they're they know like what they know how to talk to you they're very very intelligent emotionally intelligent people very kind very 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 kind and they'll help you out if you're ever struggling or if you ever just want to have a good time and chat or if you just want to be left alone they're there for whatever you need and they're always there to answer questions too. I was really scared the first time I went and I never knew like who to ask for anything, but you could just ask them literally anything and they'll just let you know what's what's going on. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanna describe your room. So you're gonna, if, you're, if you go to acute, you will have one room and that's pretty much where you'll spend all your time. And acute is like very beautiful. It's a very, very nice environment. It, if you've ever been on a cruise, that's what I compare it to. It very much is like a cruise environment. Your room is like a nice little cabin room. It's really nice. The bed is really comfy. There's a nice chair. There's like tables. There You have a closet. You have a television, which you can watch TV whenever you want, which is really cool. And they have a bunch of channels on there. And they also have Netflix and probably other streaming services, but you have to have your own um, account. But they'll like help you log in. You have to... You might have to ask about that because the first time I went, they didn't tell me about that right away. Um, and then the second time I went, they told me and I was like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. So sometimes you need to like ask about certain things, but I'll try and let you know all the like secret tips and tricks that I know um, <laughs> from being there a couple of times. But yeah, you can watch TV whenever you want and you can watch whatever you want really. Like at a lot of, if you go to like a residential place, they're going to be like, they're not going to want you to watch certain things because it's like, you don't want to watch anything triggering but they really don't care to cute. You can watch whatever you want. Um, I watched a lot of horror movies and they didn't have any problems with that. Um, whereas I, when I was at another treatment facility, I tried to watch a horror movie and they were like, you cannot watch that. That is triggering and bad. But at a cute, they're like, I mean, you're alone in your room. I mean, the CNA's there, but you're not gonna trigger anyone else. So they're just like, if, if you wanna watch that, then that's your prerogative. <laughs> um, so you can watch whatever you want. You get your electronics at all times. They're, they never like, um, well, not when you're with providers. So providers, a therapist, a, a, like a, a psychologist, therapist, a um, psychologist, psychiatric person, doctor, <laughs> um, physical therapist, occupational therapist, dietitian, um, medical doctor, I'm missing social worker, um, the nurse person, and the person who is in charge of all the nurses. So if you have a problem with any of your CNAs, which I doubt you would, but if you did, they come in and ask and you can tell them and like communicate if you're having any problems. Anyway, those are all the people and probably more that I'm missing who will come and see you throughout the day. And they just come to your room. You don't ever have to go anywhere to see them and they'll just have meetings with you in your room and you can't be on your electronics during those times, of course, because that would be rude. But um, at all other times, it's like fine to be on your electronics and you're allowed your computer, you're allowed your phone. Uh, don't forget to bring a charger. Uh, yes, that would, that would be bad. Although I'm sure a CNA would lend you one. Sometimes I lended the CNAs my charger because they would be like, oh, I forgot mine, can I borrow yours? And it was just, it's, it's a very relaxed environment. It's not like weird. They're very, they're, I mean, they, it's their job. So they, they're, it's not like a strange thing for them. It might be kind of weird and off-putting for you at first, but they're, they're very nice. They're very nice. So, sorry, I have like so much that I need to talk about and I'm just rambling. Oh, one, one thing I wanted to mention is, okay. So the physical therapist, probably like after like two days of being there, they're going to clear you to do laps. So you're allowed to walk two times around the whole, f like the floor, the, f the floor of the hospital that 
the malnutrition center is on. So you're allowed to walk two laps after each meal and one lap after each snack. Um, so that is fun. <laughs> And it's very lovely to walk around. That's kind of why I feel like it's like a cruise ship because if you've ever been on like a promenade area of the cruise ship, that's what it feels like. And there's beautiful paintings all around and above every door is like a nice quote that's very inspiring. And it's very, it's very beautiful, very clean, very nice. And when I was there, one patient, uh, they did something really fun. They, they created like a board game that they hung on the wall. And like, as you walked around, you could like mess with the board game and then like, slowly progress each time you do a lap like do move a little character so people have fun it's a very like it's very fun people fun is encouraged i'm gonna skip over one section and go to the next one because as long as i'm talking about fun there's many things to do if you i would recommend bringing a lot of stuff because well okay i'd recommend bringing some stuff that you like to do because there's gonna be a lot of downtime because i mean you have your meetings throughout the day but a lot of the time you're kind of just sitting around doing nothing um so have stuff to do. Uh, bring stuff if you have anything you like to bring. I brought a guitar. You, you I probably have to get it cleared with your doctor, but they'll probably just be like, yeah, that's fine. If you want anything, really. I got sewing needles cleared somehow, <laughs> so I was able to sew. I, I actually really had to convince them to that. Like, I, I wrote a whole little paper. I'm like, here's why you should trust me with sewing needles. And they're like, <coughs> sorry, that's my doggie. Uh, they're like, okay. So, you know, if you, if you have something you really want, the, they'll probably clear it um it depends like case by case basis but i mean pretty much if you yeah anyway whatever you and then if you are coming from out of state and you are like oh i can't bring a guitar on a plane they do have a guitar they do have a guitar that you can bring. i had my own guitar but sorry he i would he just barks he has dog dementia um and there's not much we can do except for just like let him bark that but I'll, please, hopefully that is not too irksome for you. Hopefully he also does not bark for very long. Anyway, um, so there's a guitar. They also have a keyboard, I think. You have to ask the occupational therapist about that, uh, but they will help you out. And then there's also three closets. There's a closet for crafts. There's a closet for games. There's a closet for movies and puzzles. So there's crafts, movies, puzzles, games. There's just a, basically a ton of fun stuff for you to do. Um, it's always a good time. Like you can do whatever you want really. Um, okay, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, I have to cut the video to go check on my dog. Maybe give him a treat or something, but I'll be right back in a second. Sorry. Ah. Okay, I'm back. I brought him with me. Come here, Ollie. Here he is. You, I mean, you already met him earlier, but... Oliver, say hello to the camera. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of dogs, I know I was just talking about the craft room and everything. So, or not room, but craft closet. So there's a ton of fun crafts. There's a ton of fun stuff to do. There's puzzles, movies. They have so many movies because um, they have a DVD player for each room with the TV. And um, so you can watch movies if you like. You can do crafts. They have so many crafts there. Um, and you can also order stuff off Amazon and they will bring it to your room. So that's cool. You can, if you like, don't want to bring it from home, but want to just order it, they have that as an option. <laughs> um, they, but what I was saying about dogs, speaking of dogs, there's a therapy dog there and they come by the rooms and that is just so fun. Um, you have to tell the occupational therapist, or you can tell anyone on your team, like, hey, I'm really interested in, like, putting a... They have a sign that they put on the doors, and it says, like, therapy dogs welcomed. So then when the guy comes with his therapy dog, I'm not going to say names. I, I really want to say names because you do get to know people really well, and everyone there is so nice, and, like, I'm just, like, I want to say that I really like them so much, but I want to respect their privacy and everything. But when he comes with the dog, he can come into your room and you can chat with him and pet the dog and play with the dog. And it's very fun. It's a very fun time. You just got to tell the occupational therapist that you want the therapy dog sign on your door. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to make sure that I like go through everything that is important. Um, 
Okay, there's like two things, two sections, or three that I need to talk about next. <laughs> One is kind of a big thing that you're probably worried about if you're there for an eating disorder. Honestly, probably if you're there just for any malnutrition in general, is the food. <laughs> that was a big concern of mine because like eating disorder makes it kind of like, oh, nervous about the food. Um, But... So I'd been to other treatment centers and where I went, it was kind of like, you get what you get and you're served what you're served. But at Acute, they have a menu that you choose from. And every, so you choose, you plan out like three days in advance with your dietitian. And there's like three options for each meal. So you get to choose what option you want, which is nice. You get to select like, and, and you can customize it too. Like the, the options are like, it's very customizable and make sure you just like talk to your dietitian about all the options because there's so much stuff that like I didn't know and I was always afraid to ask questions but like they're very flexible with everything and you can like have special stuff on the side if you want that like I love vegetables so it's like could I get the tomatoes on the side like a little extra tomato added or like and they you can do like a PRN snack which I didn't know about the first time I was there I had no idea that they did that but like between the hours of like 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. you can order a snack and the snacks are like graham crackers, milk, they have cereal. So if you're like hungry in the middle of the night you can be like can I get the PRN snack? I also have juice I think and pudding. If you ask your dietitian they'll tell you but they have like so many options and you really just got to ask and they're super flexible and okay something I want to talk about is tube feed because that is probably, that was like something I didn't know anything about before I went to acute. I'd never been tube fed before. And I wanna say, before I even get into it, if the word, if the words tube feed brings anxiety to your heart, I want you to know it was 100% my choice. And the first time I went, I got a tube feed. And the second time I went, I didn't get a tube feed. And both those times, it was totally my choice. And I even asked, like specifically, could I get a tube feed? They will work with you with whatever you want. If you do not want a tube feed, they will not tube feed you. They will not, they're not gonna be like, you need a tube feed. Cause I know it's really scary for a lot of people, but for some people it can be helpful because, so you're at, if you're going to a center for malnutrition, they're gonna give you like a lot of food. And sometimes it can be really scary to have all that food, especially if you have like an eating disorder. So sometimes it's helpful to like, what I did was I had half my intake that I needed calorically through the tube feed and the other half orally. So I would still eat. Um, I just ate like um, stuff that felt better for me, like half the size. Um, and that worked out. Um, so if you're like nervous about having like a ton of food, they'll work with you with that. They can do a tube feed. You can have half your food through tube feed, half through oral. They're still gonna want you to have meals. Um, but I'm sure if you talk to them and were like, I just can't eat at all, but I need to get better, they would probably be willing to be like, okay, we can do 100% new feed for a while. Because it is like very individualized care, as long as you express your needs. Um, and if you're like, I can't eat that much, but I also can't do a tube feed, they'll, I think um, they would work with you and be like, you can do half a meal and then like half boost. And they have boost. And also at a lot of places, it's like, seen as like punitive to have boost. Like if you can't finish your meal in the time that you're given, um, you it's like, oh, that's bad. And boosting is a bad thing. But if you boost there, and boost is just, um, if you don't know what boost is, it is like a meal supplement drink. So it's like a drink that has like nutrition in it and is just very like dense. So you don't have to have all the volume of eating a meal, but you still get the nutrition from a meal. Um, so, they have that, um, and it's not a bad thing to have boost. I had boost a lot because I couldn't finish a lot of my meals, <laughs> and it's totally fine. And they're they're very very chill about it. They they totally understand, um, and they're like, yeah, we'll we'll just have the boost instead, um, yeah. So you can do that, and the the people there are just so understanding. Like if you just talk to them, they'll under they want to help you out. They want you to feel good and calm and not worried about anything so if you're like really struggling with any aspect of it just tell them and they will accommodate they will 
I am positive because they this is like the nicest professionals I've ever worked with. Um, I'm like, oh, is there anything else I wanted to mention about the food? You have to eat at this table in your room and the CNA is going to watch you while you eat. Um, and if you want, you can have like a conversation with them while you eat. I know a lot of patients did that. Um, or you could also just be like, I don't like to talk when I eat. You can watch the television while you eat too. You're not allowed to be on your phone um, while you eat though, but you can set your computer up so it's not on the table if you want to watch stuff on your computer while you eat. So there's like many options for things to do while you eat. And the CNA was going to watch you, but they're very, very kind and they're not going to be like mean. And they watch you from like far away. Like, okay, sometimes they would get very close and it would be like, why are you so close? <laughs> but if you like want to chat with them while you eat, you can. If you don't, you don't have to too. They're very flexible and understanding. That's the main thing is I want to get across about Acute is that they're very flexible and understanding and they just want you to be happy. They're very, 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 very kind. They're very kind. And I will say, um, I, ju I don't know if I should mention this in the videos or not, but I do feel like it is kind of important to know. So the first time I went there, I went there voluntarily and the second time was involuntary. And if you're like being sent there and you're very scared about it and you're watching this video um, and you don't wanna go, um, I have to say there was like no difference in the treatment I received when I went there voluntary versus involuntary. Very kind, very understanding both times, trying to work with me, trying to make sure my needs were met. Um, just like super very kind and understanding and there was nothing to be scared about ever. It was just very, very sweet. And it's like, it can be a very scary situation, but I want you to know, while it is like so, your fears are valid, like it's it's not, it's, it's, it's okay to be scared and it's totally okay. And I don't want you to feel like you're like any sort of way for being scared, but I want you to know you'll totally be okay. Like I, I wish, I'm just trying to tell you the stuff I wish I knew before I went. Just in case that helps anyone go. The other stuff I wanted to mention. I have two more things I want to mention. Sorry this video is going on forever, but I gotta make sure I get it all in there. Um, they want you to go to a residential place afterwards. Um, they're really gonna want you to go somewhere and the social worker will work with you to find the best possible place for you. And I went to ERC in Denver afterwards and I really liked it there. Um, and I can do a follow-up video about ERC. I probably won't talk about it that much in this video because this is just about acute, but just like to encourage people if they're scared to go, to go because there's also been a lot of like negative reviews about ERC and I kind of want to dispel maybe some of those rumors and maybe help people if they're feeling anxious about going. I would recommend ERC. It's a nice place. It's very close to acute, so it's like very easy transportation. Uh, but anyway, you can talk to your social worker about it because they're just want to go. They're gonna want you to have some sort of follow up care plan for when you discharge, because they're just a medical stabilization unit. For I thought when I got there, I was gonna be there forever. I didn't understand that they're not like a residential place, <laughs> even though it feels like it because you have your own room and everything. But you're probably not gonna be there for super long. Time frame wise is extremely individualized. I've heard all different sorts of things. I will tell you when I was there, the first time I was there, I was there for exactly a month, which was funny. I got there on the first, I left on the first of the next month. And then the second time I was there, um, I was there for like a month and a half. Um, it just depends on where you're at medically. Uh, yeah, cause they're just there to get you healthy. It's mostly about getting you healthy to a, it's getting you to the point where you can do actual therapy because when you're super malnourished, you're like not really in the space where you're able to do therapy and like take that in. So there's not a ton of therapy. There's not a ton of groups. Um, okay, I'm gonna cut the video here and we're gonna jump cut outside because I, I gotta go outside really quick because someone just got, my mom just got home and I she probably doesn't want to be in the video. So jump cut to outside. We are now outside. Hello. Um, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful evening. Still a day. Anyway, I'm gonna 
not go on forever. I'm gonna, because I've been talking a long time. Um, but I have two things I want to say before I go. Um, the first thing is, if you have any questions, I am more than happy to answer. I am an open book about anything, any question you could possibly have. I really have no reserves about answering, if, especially if it's gonna help you get the treatment that you deserve to get. I would be more than happy to answer any sort of question you have um, about going to acute. Um, or if you're just like curious, even if you're not going and you're just like, I wanna know what it's like there because that's like kind of an interesting experience. I'm, again, an open book. I am happy to share anything at all. Um, so in the comments below, you can ask your questions um, or comments or anything you want. Uh, but if you don't feel comfortable on a public forum being like asking your questions, I will put my Discord in the description of this and you can add me on Discord and ask me any questions. Again, more than happy to answer anything. Don't ever feel like weird or awkward about it. I or I mean, you can feel however you feel about it, but just know I'm not judging or anything. I asked, I, I actually found someone on Twitter who had been there before and I asked them a bunch of like invasive questions about going um, and they were very, very sweet about it. Um, so I hope to kind of be that resource for other people if you're like anxious about going. Um, any, any question at all, more than happy to answer. And then the second thing is, while I was there, I, um, eesh, sorry, like fell over. <laughs> I, um, made little stuffed animals for other patients there. Um, I put them on like the nurse's station and as we did laps, like people could grab one <laughs> if they wanted. And I thought like, maybe, hopefully it brought people comfort. And if you're anxious about going and you want like a little comfort item or anything, um, just let me know. Um, I sell my little guys on Etsy, but if you just want one and you like are just like nervous about going and anxious, just add me on Discord and I can just ship it to your address, whatever it is. Um, or if you're, I guess if you're at Acute too, just give me your address and, or not your address, but let me know and I'll just ship it over to Acute. Um, <laughs> I do little like custom guys or if you just want, um, whatever floats like if you have like a favorite animal favorite color i do that um but also if you just like are like just surprise me i can also do that because i want to just bring comfort to you and to the world and this is my little polar bear guy i know he doesn't look very much like a polar bear but he is one if you trust me i'm a little polar bear anyway <laughs> sorry so yeah i if you want a little comfort custom guy let me know and i would be more than happy to ship you one totally free of charge. If you want to buy one on my Etsy, I, <laughs> I'm i fine with that too. Uh, but if you just want a little guy, it would honestly bring me a lot of joy to know that my little guys are helping people. And not just if you're going to acute or at acute or have been to acute. If you have dealt with recovery at all in any sort of capacity, honestly, even if not, just like let me know if you want a little guy. I'm so like, they need loving homes. I love to make them and they don't always have loving homes to go to because I make too many of them. <laughs> so if it would make you happy to have a little guy, just let me know. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. So the point is, if you have any more questions, ask me on Discord, I'm more than happy to answer, but I just want you to know that you deserve treatment, you deserve recovery, you deserve happiness and joy and good health and life. And if you go to Acute, they will help you with that, definitely. Uh, you, it's okay to be scared, but, um, you're in good hands if you go. So, I hope you realize you deserve love, support, care. You're worthy of it 100%. You're worthy of recovery and a joyful, happy, healthy life. Um, yeah. And so I hope this video was helpful. Ask away if you have any questions, if there's anything that I missed. I'm more than happy to answer, because... So Discord is in the description if you, also you can just join if you want to. I have a fun server for people to have a good time. Um, and I'd be more than happy if you joined. Okay, signing off now. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you for watching. <laughs> have a good day.